Hey guys, how's it going out there? Hopefully things will sound a little better on your end as we've uh, added a few hundred bucks to the mic and uh, the mixer. I know the computer still sounds a little loud in the background, but hopefully this cleaned things up a little bit. Sounds a little better for you guys. Anyway, let's get started. I would like to look into maps and rivers today. And if we look into that real quickly here, you'll see that this is fairly easy to do but it just takes a little time to do the rendering. So let's get started. What I started with is 25 minutes worth of messing around here on screen to get to where I've got. Starting with a blank screen, I just cut in and you can see how my loop did go this way and around. And the idea was to just get it so it doesn't look unnatural. So create a few pools and spots, maybe a few offshoots. Um, just getting it to look as nice as we can and getting rid of the uniformity that you would have as you go through in, in here making this. And I'm going to show you how I make it. And there's, there's two ways to really do this. One, you can start out with the bump here where you hold your shift key down. And that will give you a negative layer to go down into some, uh, go down word, if you will and uh, that's that's one way to make them you can definitely do that but it I think it takes a long time to do that and it's it it introduces a lot of unevenness that you really have to clean up later if you really want it to look good so I tend to do it a little differently and here's the second way that you can do that too you can come up here and you can tell it um, terrain set to height and automatically in the game in Far Cry 50 feet is what everything is set to so your map will always start out ev all everything flat at 50 feet so if you want to go down 10 feet obviously you set to 40 I'll come over here and tell it 40 and you will then have instantly run right into this other map without any ledge or anything and you'll always be able to return to that exact setting and doing it the first way I showed you you won't be able to do that so if that matters to you you'll want to try this okay so now that you've learned how easy it is to do let's talk about what's really needed so when you come in here and set your thing to 40 here your height and you're going to come by and you're going to do your meandering width, if you will, as it bends around and goes here and there. I started with a little smaller brush. Control Z. Let's see if we can match that to about the way it was. And I can give you a pretty realistic shot of what I was doing. Yeah, there we go. Now you can adjust the constraints on this as to how you want the brush to work. And... I believe with the hardness where I have it here and the distortion where I had it, I think this is pretty representative of, uh, I think I had that all the way up though, these two. This is representative of where I am here. And you can go as fast as you want and you still have the same depth, whereas before that won't be true. Okay, so then just come back here guys and make this look un, how do I say, take the uniformity out of it. You don't want your river to be that same width, because that, that wouldn't look real. So you can pretend in your head that the water's coming in one direction or another, and how it would erode certain areas. And that's all I did. I started rounding off areas and started making little backwaters that would might, might happen along the way. And uh, pretty soon it just grew into a map that you can see now on the other side here. I wonder why that keeps jumping around on me. That was not happening before. And, uh, you know, you just, you just keep eating away at it until you think it looks real. And uh, at which point, try to stop before you kill it. <laughs> at times, I'll work it so far, it's start over. But that's a good thing. You really start learning when you do that stuff. And uh, you want to do this in a little closer so you can see if you're making any mistakes. Probably a good idea to be in a little tighter. But anyway, that's that's all it really is about, is spending the time to go through here. I'm hitting Control-Z to back out, because I'm going to use this map to actually do something else next. 
And you're going to say to yourself, okay, so I got that cut out. Now what do I do to make it look cool? Okay. Come on up here to your palette. And you can go right to your textures. And uh, you can add whatever you would like until you get four textures. There's three out of four chosen over here. So you could still have one more in a map. But uh, the this one here is something that we should just remove. You know. So we'll add to that. Uh, let's let's do a sand texture, a different sand texture, or we'll just use the one that's here. You can go in here and use whatever you like, and hit OK, and it'll pop right up here. We could do that too. Uh, let's choose a different sand. Do we have sand one? We do. Sand flat. Okay. So you're going to want to adjust your brush size, and my opinion in here is using sand. You can use a different texture if you like. But once you hit it on top with water, and it looks pretty good, guys. So I tend to do the radius as big as you can do. And I like running my hardness pretty much to the edge here in really high speeds. So that it doesn't take me long. And away you go. You just start painting the insides of here to make this happen. Or you could do it with constraints, too. But that's a little tougher to teach you guys in short amount of time so I'm going to show you this way and maybe we'll do a tutorial on that later um, and you go around and just keep doing this until you get all the the bottom to look the way you want and then I would come up here and start doing this edge just a little bit too well we lose the speed if we go real small it doesn't matter if your top edge in my opinion is a little bit over because you still have to put a top layer on whether it's going to be grass or mud dirt rock <clears throat> excuse me so you still have to still have to have that top edge covered so you just keep going around here and making that happen and that'll instantly give you your inner look one other thing you'll want to do too though is you're going to want to come up here and give it some noise and noise is really important because when you have the um, water on you're going to see through the different heights that it looks like a real ocean you give it a little noise in here <clears throat> excuse me where you start to get some elevation happening and when you add the water it looks real cool because the sand is up closer to the surface so it changes the color of the water to more of a turquoise it looks really neat the effect so that would be how you would finish off the bottom okay do your walls Get your bottom with a little bit of noise in there. Get your sand all in for your texture. Then next what you would do is you would add on your top surface. And your top surface is laid exactly the same way. Through, you know, adding your grass or whatever you'd like to on top here. And like I said, what you'll want to do is be careful on your last layer. Your water is going to come all the way up to that rounded edge. So you don't want to go too much past where your water is going to be with your grass or whatever it is. See, that's too far as, as I started there. Control Z will get you out of that. So do lots of clicks, in my opinion. That way you can back up just one click at a time instead of backing up a huge area you just did. And now you got to redo it all again. Okay? Get that kind of thing going. Having a little bit of sand at that edge is better, than, in my opinion, than having the grass down in the water. So it just looks wrong once you add the water. Okay, now you might say to yourself, all right, I got that all done, but I still don't have any water. How do we add the water? Now I have a tutorial that's been done on that, but I will show you one real quick for doing a huge map like this. It's about the same though anyway. You simply come up here to your water and don't select water level because that'll flood the map. That would be only if you wanted this all to be covered. You could actually do that and just play this game you could actually make it happen I won't do that I'm gonna show you how to actually place water you come in here and go to the corner of your map because it's gonna f the water is gonna face the two arrows that we see so if you place it here then you can hit number one window it don't ever forget where you placed it <laughs> and uh, you can now tell it the constraints what size you want it and I know it has to be wide open to do a whole map so we're gonna set it there now the only difference is you're gonna have to move it all the way into the corner because it's not quite there so if you just give this a nudge
click out of it, escape. You now have your water set right up to the edges of your map. Okay. Now the last thing you would really have to do is check out your water level. Typically when you bring in the water you're going to see this where it's doing the traces on the grass. Go back to where you were, window that corner, number one for a pick, and uh, go right down to your water surface and just look at it fairly level with the ground. And you can see the tracing going on. And boom, just bring your water down only enough where it's not on the ground anymore, you're done. You'll still be able to get out of that water. So, we're out of there. So that's your water added. And as I was saying before, guys, see how that how that looks on top? It just looks so much better when it changes the, the look of the water. If this was all done over here, <coughs> excuse me, you'd be able to see, you know, how that it, it looks so real. So have fun, enjoy. The, the maps aren't hard to do at all. This is so easy to do. Just take your time and get it to look as real as you can. And I'm telling you, people will play the heck out of your map because the people who have the most realistic looking maps are the best maps out there by far. Everybody wants to play in a map that looks really real. All right, guys, that's it for now. If you liked the video, consider the like and subscribe buttons and let me know what you're interested in next. I'm Troll HDPC. Until next time.